So this is the first case. Spider-Man and Venom. Double trouble. Well, what if they merge and they will go exist? That would be a real disaster. Look at Venom taking over Spider-Man. What about taking over a subluxated cavern? What if they coexist? Any wrong foot in managing it would only spell disaster. Well, yeah. As we started managing this case, look at it. It is almost 180 degrees subluxated. I'm ready with my side ports. And I start my rexis after staining with blue. As I go halfway, I, you can see the PPC there, sitting there, and 180 degrees subluxation. I do a visco dissection. This was 10 years back, remember. This is how the patient came to me. And as I go for the rexis, it goes a bit below the iris, but it is a complete. So though it's round, a bit oval shaped. And this is a soft nuclear. I'm trying to emulsify it. Look at it. It's a chip and flip. And as I emulsify it, as I go halfway, I rotate it. And I remember that there is a PPC. Is it stuck? Well, I realized, oh, no, I have escaped. I start doing bimanual IA. I take those, you know, cortical matter. As I try to bring it down, I feel that the, my bag is losing it. So I go with my CTR from the side port. And then I realize the CTR is going through that small, you know, extended rexis or the over rexis. I put it from the main incision. And once I have that, I take out my uh, the capsule, the capsule, the iris, which is double desk capsule, they are not available 10 years back. But as I go, I find my, I'm losing my bag. So I need to support it. So there goes my railway, uh, railroad technique CT segment. The first end goes, second end goes, and the CT segment, I'm trying to pull it. Look at it. I'm trying to pull it. I think I'm over. And at that moment, then you can pull. And look at it, what happens? There is a PCR there. I immediately close it and put a multi-piece lens in the sulcus. And I'm happy it has gone to the sulcus. Patient is for a follow-up for over six months and is lost to follow-up. And look at it, patient comes to me in last January after the COVID, comes with the second double trouble. Trauma, 10 years, and there is subluxated IOL and there is vitrocinacy. I take it up as an interstellar haptic fixation by Yamanis technique. I do a minimal vitrectomy and I put in high molecular viscoelastic and there it is. I try to hold it. Remember, this is my third Yamanis technique. So I mobilize the haptic, bring it in front of the iris. There it is, two millimeter by two millimeter, 26 gauge needle goes in. This was a sensor lens. So I manipulate it put it in the mobilize it and externalize this haptic. I go the other way and then mobilize this. And then with my 26 gauge needle, yes, this is the feature. And that's how I go it and miss it. Then I take my 25 gauge forceps going the same way, just hold it as the supreme pleasure spotters, externalize it and then continue my anterior vitrectomy. Put in transing alone, clean the vitreous as much as possible. Yes, there the vitrectomy, round in, round, till I remove all the vitreous, and then I manipulate, put the lens in the center, do more vitrectomy, and once the vitrectomy is over, there you can see the vitrectomy goes by the side, and I terminal end is fertilized and the plant is taken subconjunctival. And look at the future. One month later, in the month of February, that's the post of one month. Thank you. Thank you for it.